Hey everybody, it's Keith and Connor and Tom, and Tom. this is the Mean Boys Podcast. Mean Boys. Blah, 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 with the final installment of our Snark Week uh, adventure. Snark Week. Uh, and how's the gang feeling right now? The gang is exhausted. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just tell you, I mean, it's not a bad episode, but if you're a first time listener, maybe check out another one. Maybe check out a <laughs> different non this episode. Yeah, this is the one where we f- you finally really hear us break. Uh and it's yeah. uh, Dan St. Germain joined us in the studio. He was uh, great. at, at yeah. ES Germain. Uh check out all his shit uh and he's great. He was very funny. He was wonderful. Uh we do start to melt down yeah. a little bit on this episode. So just be aware of that. This is our what 12th show we've recorded in yeah. uh 7 days. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been excited about Snark Week, though, and is oh, checking all the God. episodes and has been tweeting. Uh, all the guests who come in have the one thing they keep saying. They're like, it's crazy how many people who listen to your show have like tweeted us and like followed us and like are, are yeah. supportive of what you guys are doing. No, this week made me realize how cool this podcast is and how cool our fucking fans are. Yeah, so thank you guys. Thank you everybody who's left an iTunes review. Uh, please, if you haven't, leave us a review, rate us, subscribe us. Uh, that helps us a fucking ton. We got a new one that's uh, pretty funny. It's a uh, Nice Boys, five stars by Chandra Nitz. My husband has been forcing this podcast on me for months, <laughs> and I finally just rolled over and got it over with so he'd shut up about it. <laughs> Turns out I actually like it. I've been listening to the backlog as well as the current episodes. Good to know the quality didn't dip over time. Don't get me wrong, it didn't improve, but it did get worse. <laughs> so that's something. Seriously, though, I love this podcast. They feed the evil demon to my soul so I can continue to act like a fully functional human being to the outside world. Oh, that's, uh, that's, very, that's very sweet. I love that we were compared to anal sex, and we're like, aww. Oh, we got compared to anal sex? I'm so tired I even pick up on oh, that. Oh, the rolled over and let it happen. Oh, okay. I, that's how I read that. I don't know. Maybe I'm gross. Uh, also, uh, if you want to hear all the, the hot bonus content we've released this Where week. Where we played a full game of Monopoly. <laughs> to uh, which The one tweet we got from us was like, ooh, how soothing. <laughs> like, all right, cool. Yeah, we basically recorded a white noise machine. We're halfway through. I called Tom a robber baron and a retard. Uh, but yeah, go to patreon.com slash me and boys. Uh, we put up new episodes every day this week. We're gonna, we do one every week. Uh, bonus episode. You get a little behind the scenes peek. Lots of fun shit. Uh, so please uh, do that. Uh, we are going to be taking this week off. There's not going to be a new episode this Tuesday. We will be back with our hundredth episode, our Christmas spectacular on uh, Tuesday, December nineteenth. We got some very fun planned for that. Uh, do we have anything else we need to plug? Can we get into this fucking show? Well, let's do it, baby. Oh, tour sheet. Fill out the tour sheet. Let us know what city you live in. We're going on tour next year. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. uh, join Celebrity Death Bull. Email tongueglasscomedy at gmail.com. That's going to be fun. Yeah. That, uh, enjoy episode 99 of the Mean Boys Podcast with Dan St. Germain. Hi, and welcome to the Mean Boys Podcast. Your friends love you the same way they love GameCube color. I'm Connor McSpadden. I'm Keith Gary. I'm Dan St. Germain. And I'm... A cartoon turtle that's not allowed to see its kids anymore. Yeah. <laughs> what is GameCube color? Yeah. I thought you were talking about Game, Game Boy color. GameCube color is aggressively oh, not a real thing. They never made I've GameCubes made... in black and white, dude. <laughs> I mean, uh, Game Boy color. Already okay. to that a made it funnier. Game. Yeah. <laughs> It didn't, it didn't make sense either way, but it was also inaccurate and unfunny. Yeah, I've, yeah, no, it. Uh, uh, I've been very pressed for writing uh, as of the last like several hours. Yeah, this is our uh, this, and, is, our, uh, this, this is, is our the seventh, mental breakdown episode. This is our seventh show in seven days, and Tom is losing his mind. Today. <laughs> I really am. Yeah. I'm sleeping in a basement. I'm definitely allergic to something. And did you get Tom to make you look handsome? Like. What's what? the- <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I, need look smart. Look, yeah. I know it's just, yeah well it's just funny poor connor is just like, yeah i do that podcast and I'm like oh with that fat guy and he's like yeah and that other fat guy yeah <laughs> you just have a lot of fat friends and we're joined by a new fat friend dan st germain <laughs> la woman era jim morrison know, in I the studio some money i am bathtub jim morrison <laughs> oh, yeah. i do appreciate that as you realize, i am um, to tom what you are to mike lawrence like it's just like you I, are to tom what i am to mike yeah <laughs> I think I think yeah I I think my distance between me and Mike Mike will be like oh we look exactly alike I'm like no we don't dude dude wait, we saw we Justice don't. League with Mike Lawrence and he, and he uh, is getting the tickets printing them out he bends over no belt all right ass uh, crack is out belly is out and right. Keith is like as a fat dude you get to pick one of those three things all right you were, you, you violated the whole I just wanted to take a picture of his butt crack and just post yeah. it with the caption Emmy nominee. <laughs> He always, he always looks like a Frito bag open in a Demogorgon walk. <laughs> 100%. He's yeah. of, and he's one of my best friends. And he, and he walks in Hard just too. looking like preemptively angry, and they check his backpack for guns, and there's just action figures in there. Can you imagine? 
Like if he did the Colorado shooting, he would just like just first off he wouldn't shoot because he'd be like. Oh, the Dark Knight Rises does not honor the comic books. <laughs> is it worth my bullets? Yeah, yeah. It's not worth well, my bullets. At, at least he would have gotten the. Uh, Can I write an angry email from prison? At least he would have gotten the Joker's hair color correct. I mean, that would have been it. Would have been very accurate Joker <laughs> yeah. cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, uh, we're all dying. Uh, we're ready to do dying? this. Let's get into the Mexican okay. joke off. Hey, so topical. Boom. All right, I'll take us away with maybe my worst entry of the entire week. A video of a couple having sex in a car while driving 70 miles an hour is going viral. I've heard of coming fast, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's really bad, dude. Oh, I'm yeah, so yeah, glad yeah, you yeah. opened with that. It makes me feel so much better about what I'm about to do. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. <laughs> Wait, they were doing 70 and fucking, though? They were, yeah. How do you even do that? I mean, uh, it's, you got to be Brazilian, I was guess. It a, well, was it Brazilian? It was in, like, Brazil, yeah. It was in some weird place in South I America. I think it was just, like, we weren't even paying attention to jokes. We are like, oh, fucking what driving. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I think cars I think boots. the girl was, like, cowgirl on top of him and, like, you know, had his had her head, like, around Have the corner. Have you guys ever had sex with a woman in a car while you're driving? No, I've never even gotten road. I have gotten road head, road but... Head. I, uh, the girl knocked my shit into neutral and almost killed us. I ate a girl oh, out really? while she was driving once. That was fun. How did you really? even pull that off? <laughs> yeah, that, friend, you profoundly that. fat man. <laughs> what? I'm not impressed by these Brazilians. I was 69. Was she, well, was Carl's she... Jr. wasn't open. <laughs> <laughs> was she driving? Get that barbecue Arby's sauce. wasn't open. He's like, this is the closest thing to roast beef. <laughs> what vehicle um, is big enough? You know, was she driving that thing that takes the space shuttle to the launch pad? <laughs> Well, what, what kind of car? Uh, I think it was like a Corolla or some like a car ass car. This, what, when, when was this? Uh, God, like maybe six years ago. Where, Girl, where, girlfriend where you, or girlfriend? Dude. Yeah. Were you like? Was your head was upside down? I was just got. Yeah, I kind of just sort of went under. She was wearing like a short skirt, so I sort of hiked it up, and then I just kind of got it. It wasn't a good pussy, and like I kind of like was hitting thigh most of it, but I was you know going yeah. for it. I gotta feel like working upside down is tough. Yeah, I've like, never eaten pussy upside down. Really? No. It's not that what do you mean? I go just like put like if you're sixty nine. Not really. Okay. Yeah. Never. Girls never want to do it. That always makes them feel fat. Sixty nine. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're like, I'm self conscious, and I'm like, no, I just fucking bury, you know, my face. I just, I, I can't imagine any of you guys bringing a girl back to this place. It I was mean, difficult when I when I here. walked in. It happens. It happens when, shockingly often. Yeah. When I walked in, I was like, you're like, oh, welcome to Crack House. I'm like. It's less depressing that no one smokes crack here. <laughs> yeah, like, I know, we bought it from crackheads and it got worse. It's, it's just—it's it funny like, that it's just been like lots of very nice women and several millionaires have come to this <laughs> horrible home. <laughs> yeah. Millionaires. Steve ran as easy. Steve ran as easy. Is he a millionaire? He probably. Ah, probably. He's probably just. He didn't lose there. all that Buffalo Wild Wings money. <laughs> <laughs> Canane yeah. probably got yeah. in the low, the low millions. He's, uh, he's probably he's probably close. Yeah, yeah. In South Carolina, a beagle was found tied to a tree with its tongue cut out. Find out more in the upcoming animated special. It's a warning from MS13, Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's what okay. Snoopy is. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Uh, female UFC fighter Justine Kiss shit herself while being choked out in the octagon. But there's nothing funny about that. But what? What? <laughs> I don't know. Dan, this podcast is I've lost my mind, well. guys. I had a joke about that same thing. as a UFC fighter was ridiculed that they're shitting her pants in the middle of a fight, but she has signed a sponsorship with Crap Out. <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually That's joke. not better. Mildly better, yeah. It is better. We, yeah. We, we've had to, we've done better. this every day, so we've like ran it's out not of good, news stories. No, good. ran out I'm of out of news. I fucking burnt all the dead kid shit like day three. Yeah. yeah. No, it's... Now it's just like... Uh, do, it's got to be like a gnarly story. It, you, it always yeah, ends yeah. up being... Well, it's like, oh, Japan and the EU have a new trade agreement so that's funny of nothing I ISIS think is funny. like celebrating Kwanzaa or some shit yeah. right now it's been very quiet we all just kind of unofficially decided we're not going to do any more Trump jokes because we're like we get it he sucks yeah. so yeah. it's it really trying to dig through all that shit is the hard part oh thanks yeah. for making that proclamation right before <laughs> uh, a new report states that President Trump watches up to eight hours of television a day uh, in a related story the commander in chief announced he plans to fix relations with North Korea using Mighty Putty what is Mighty Putty it's, it's like the a infomercial, infomercial thing, thing. Ah, okay Guys, this is depressing. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> I, I just, maybe maybe just, doing seven scripted comedy podcasts in seven days was a poor idea. <laughs> I just like seeing Dan's face as he realized, like, man, I made the right call not writing the jokes. <laughs> We should have just really had someone less significant yeah. on for day seven, so we could have just thumbed it in over the finish line. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, let's try this one. <laughs> Anybody who d- just thinks that writing weekend update jokes is easy, please listen to this pod. <laughs> Man, you should have seen some of the, the ones we had like three, four days ago when I'm we were hot. I'm looking at this fucking folding chair. 
<laughs> but you guys ripped. The, how did you even do this? Would you? Okay, it was just it, 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 Mike Warren's accidentally guess. like fart. Take a right wild there. guess as to who sat in the chair to break it. I don't. I don't know how you could possibly <laughs> speculate on this. You know, diabetes one or diabetes two. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but, well, diabetes two said something that made diabetes one laugh so hard that he fucked up the chair. <laughs> But how do you fuck it up that way? I'm really Honestly, funny. It's I a, guys, I just want to describe it. It's got like, it's got Macho Man Randy Savage tassels. <laughs> like he like somehow he just all he did is not like he broke it in. <laughs> oh, there's tore it's the right next to another broken and then the chair. Back flaps. Yeah, it looks like a ghost pirate Keith? ship from an episode of Scooby Doo. Like Keith, <laughs> fucking, you're like it's like Harry and the Hendersons or some shit. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> you broke top. This is nuts. <laughs> what is happening this to you? Fucking, yeah, this is the this bench This is like the last right room. Here. I spat hot coffee all over myself. <laughs> this is the last room John Bonet saw. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. Uh, yeah, it's fucking. It is. You guys need anyone who's a Mean Boys fan. So. Uh, Keith's family. Uh, <laughs> they don't listen. They, they don't told listen. them specifically. They you specifically. Do you have a good relationship with your family? Uh, it, it, it's awkward. It's awkward. What, yeah. are, what does your What do your parents do? Uh, my dad uh, is elsewhere, and my mom uh, used to do heroin, and now she does uh, yoga and has oh, a lot of guns. Well, that's good for her. Yeah, and she owns guns. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I saw her Thanksgiving, and she was like, "Yeah, I used to be a therapist. Now I'm a she's yoga like, teacher, I do hot I... mess yoga." <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, I, I should have put that, that up. I should have put that right in the beginning. <laughs> I'm <laughs> saving that for when she comes in here next week. And there's like an alien poster. Yeah, I don't know why we have that. Yeah, it was just like vaguely handed to us. Oh yeah, that was really fucking crazy. crazy. Yeah. Oh, All right. man. God help me. <laughs> Porn star August Ames is dead at the age of 25. In accordance with her last wishes, she will be taken to the cemetery in the bang hearse. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. fucking. You see, is that if I told you guys about how Shyla Styles, a porn star that just died, her yeah, Twitter still has uh, her horoscope linked, so it just posts a new Gemini horoscope every day. God, that's spooky. Which is the saddest legacy I think you can uh, have. It's just tragic lives. Yeah. Virginia police officer is being sued for making a 70 year old suspect masturbate so he can compare his erect penis to a photo of a criminal's penis. The cop is looking at hard time. First of all, boo. Uh, <laughs> That story was insane, though. Did you read? Like, yeah, it's story? fucking nuts. They, yeah, they, I wish yeah, it was I heard funnier. About that. It's the, it's a giant. It's the what? What is it? What is they, it? They they popped this dude for this like kid for like sending like sex to like a fifteen year. I think he was like nineteen or something. And right. to like compare them to the pictures he sent, the cops made him jerk off in front of them like, yeah. to get his dick hard. But then the cop who made him do that ended up uh, getting popped on pedophilia charges fucking and killing himself, himself when the cops were coming after him. So it was, what was like, the kid seventeen? Uh, How old I, is he? I think he was. I think. I think the one who got arrested was like nineteen. It was one of those like right under the wire kind of. So things. he's a pedophile mm. in addition to that. No, no, no. He was. He was. No, the cop that brought him in and made him jerk off. Was that the cop pedophile. ended up being a pedophile? Oh, he ended up being a pedophile. Yeah, because the court were like, "Yeah, you can't make somebody jerk off." Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. it sounds like <laughs> but he's I was going to some hard time. So he was into like kids and nineteen year olds. I guess so. Yeah, I guess nineteen is sort of like, yeah, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, I, I want a McDonald's, but there's a Burger King. Well, like, yeah. Wait, I thought he was he was seventeen when this first happened. This though. is a terrible like SAT like the <laughs> word problem we're figuring out. Yeah. All right, uh, Connor, you're up. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Iraq has declared victory on ISIS. Uh, in response, ISIS is claiming responsibility. Because they claim responsibility for everything, guys. I was too busy. I was thinking about the pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to move forward from that. ISIS claiming the pedophiles as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um... A new study shows that birth control pills are linked to breast cancer in women. After hearing these findings, guys around the world have pledged to become more of an ass man anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut off the tit. It's fine. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. The U.S. has revealed their new travel advisory <laughs> policy. It is simply build a bunker and pray for salvation. <laughs> We're really just trying to burn oh my through this segment yeah, Can now. we just do three <laughs> jokes this week? No, we got to eat our broccoli, God, guys. Yeah, it would be yes. rude. Too. I promise you the rest of the show will be more fun. But this yeah. is the, the I feel like fucking Johnny Cash's herd is going <laughs> to <laughs> This is... <laughs> Um, this is a, big, a great idea. Let's get a guy we don't know that well to watch us just fucking <laughs> <laughs> flounder our way to the end. It feels like we're doing like 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 a weird like talent recital in our living room for a stepdad that doesn't really like us very much. <laughs> oh yeah, like yeah, yeah, you kind of juggled for a second. He's like, this yeah. is not worth your mom's gross pussy. Now give me some, give me some grown up juice. What's uh, uh, how many more are left? <laughs> Dan just texting now. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dan calling an Uber. Oh, I got to go to the bathroom. And then just fucking Dan-shaped outline in the wall. <laughs> I thought you were going to say climbing through the window. And I was going to be like, come on. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, guys. Uh, right. <sighs> Director Brian Singer was sued over an alleged sexu- sexual assault of a 17-year-old on a yacht. People are outraged that we could have exposed this open secret earlier if we had just stuck around until after the credits. That's kind of good. He makes yeah, movies. You know, yeah, he's a rapist. Bad. Is this where they put the secret movie stuff? Maybe yeah. that's where they put the secret what? movie rapist it's stuff. It's so weird because everybody's known about the Brian Singer like sex parties forever, and we just kind of like ignored it. Brian <laughs> Singer's sex party. They're, they're on... Yeah, uh, there's a documentary about it. Open is secret. it really? Yeah, Open Secret. Oh, I didn't know that was about him specifically. Oh, well, it's about a bunch of like Hollywood pedophiles. Yeah, somebody showed me a picture of just like a swimming pool full of jello with all these just like frightened twinks in it, and I'm like, holy shit. That actually sounds delicious. Yeah, me. that's the thing. It looks like fun until you like zoom in just a little bit, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. And then you see me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, oh, no. He said he'd get me on all things comedy. <laughs> <laughs> what the lowest? <laughs> oh, no. He said he'd get me on Nat Geo. <laughs> We could get on all if you things. Get, if, if you're a 14 year old and you suck a cock for Nat Geo, you deserve what you got. <laughs> uh, all right, you're, you're in the next one. I'm trying to move off of that. Yeah. All right. Keith did it for Fat Geo, huh, guys? Authorities have recovered the body of a woman who went missing after a Tinder date. Remarked the man she went out with, quote, I've heard of being ghosted before, but come on. Because she died and turned into a ghost. <laughs> Look, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> <laughs> Over me just quietly walking into the ocean. It's just, yeah. It's, you, it's, my you, it's you pouring like whiskey over your failed late night packets. <laughs> <laughs> you made the right choice at midnight. <laughs> Lights a cigarette. I think I'm going to get this at midnight packet. <laughs> uh, dude, we, we all felt good about comedy knockout. Uh, we had so did you do comedy knockout? Packets? I think so. I don't you remember. You did the packet? We all did the packet. We had I mo- did the show, and I it's the first the time I freaked out on a set because I was so bad. I would have with Mike Lawrence and Megan Gailey, uh. and then like in between sets, I, I bombed horribly. Oh, shit. And then the person next to me, the woman goes, oh, you're doing good. And I'm like, are we watching the same fucking show? <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating my fucking dick out there. I was like Leonardo DiCaprio on The Departed. I'm like, they're going to cut me up and they're going to feed me to the poor. You know, that's what I felt like. <laughs> Uh, Slovenia's spy agency has gone on strike. After further research, research, a Slovenian spy is just an Eastern European man with the Mr. Potato Head mustache or one of them hosts from Austin Powers. <laughs> don't, I don't know who told you it was okay for you to use the phrase, one of them hoes. <laughs> Assuredly not. It was like, not any more level. Spice just like, it up the look sense. It's dumb face and bone <laughs> structure. That's not acceptable. No, it's one thing for a joke to be complicated. It's one thing for it to be not funny, and it's it's another thing when it manages to be both. So congratulations. And it was like oh, already, I, it was already such a complicated I'm bad joke. That's like, Chuck Tatham. By the you way, know what it really needs is an Austin Powers reference. That's yeah. gonna save it. Uh, All right, I'm right, waiting for your thunder now. I'm out. Oh, that was five? I, well, I gave you my the crap out one. All right, so oh, I think it's just right. you and me. You know me. what? Fuck. Oh, okay. It's five. <laughs> <laughs> no, finish your joke. No, you damn. I'm going to save it right here with this one. <laughs> oh, this, is a, no. this is a money joke, yeah, right. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all right, guys. A man who stole meat by hiding it in his pants has been caught and arrested on drug possession charges. In response, we'll be donating a portion of the Mean Boys Patreon to Keith Carey's father's legal expenses. <laughs> That's funny. There, there you go. That's, that was... There you go. On the bad side of mediocre, which is a home run today. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to bring it back down. Uh, Hanukkah is Tuesday, Uh-oh. or as I call it, uh, a week of potato pancake Christmas. No, no. <laughs> you guys, uh, you know, I want it, the Santa Ana fire stick to engulf us all. <laughs> you know, you know how it feels like we've been doing this for half an hour. We've been Wait, recording for seventeen. The, minutes. Are you serious? <laughs> This are you honestly serious? felt like, like, this, this like is the 35. One, this is the one house that if the fires came to the side of the neighborhood, it would just go, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> go around to the other house. Look around CN Eagle I'm Rock, good. everybody. It's such yeah, a bummer. Keep doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> this, this week, we would have had absolutely the best week of Mexican joke-offs, except for today. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I've heard that a lot before. Yeah, that's the comedy. Hey, version. man, there's people here every time. Yeah, I don't know. No, I swear this never happens before. <laughs> We're gonna do a quick beach uh, bleach taste test for Patreon, and uh, we'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody! Christmas is coming up, and your friends and family probably want you to buy them something because they're needy fucks. Uh, what is a good thing you could get for your family or loved ones that they will enjoy as a Christmas thing? Studio headphones, Keith. Titans. The best headphones. <laughs> uh, and guess what? We have a very special partnership with these folks. 
So if you use promo code MEANBOYS15 at studiosweden.com, you get 15% off. Yeah, these are some high-end fucking headphones. They're the bass is crispy. The treble is trebleicious. They have uh, wireless Bluetooth capability, long battery life. They also got a magical spaghetti cord that does not tangle if you want to uh, party while tethered. So yeah, Mean Boys 15 is the promo code <laughs> for the studio <laughs> headphones. <laughs> and studio like uh, Officer Ninja Money. All right. And welcome back to the Mean Boys podcast. Uh, we're closing out Snark Week with one of our favorite games. This is Porn Comment or Yelp Review. <laughs> This is the worst Indian place in Brentwood. Uh, and this game is very simple. It's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, I have a bunch of weird shit that I found on the internet. We have to decide if these are porn comments or reviews of establishments on Yelp. Uh, and it is way harder than you think it would be. So we will start with number one. Quote, I have never seen such insensitive, rude, uncaring, irresponsible women as these two. Ooh. Ooh. Well, the thing this is, is someone who got their order fucked up at Pinkberry. That's what it sounds like, but I also feel like... You're gonna start out with like what real mislead one. So are oh, you trying I'm, to play game theory on this I'm shit? Oh, game. that's what you got to do. Yeah, I'm well, gonna go I mean, with I th- porn. Just, like, okay, who is ever jacking off to something and being like, "Well, this is a little bit disrespectful to the guy who works in this parking lot in Florida <laughs> <laughs> that they're doing this here." <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that's entering. Clearly, anyone's... you have not read enough porn comments. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Uh, I'm gonna say up review. Okay, we got a porn in the Yelp, Tom. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean uh, I'm gonna lean uh, Yelp just because yeah I, I gotta go with Connor I, I can't imagine like I've never watched porn and be like ah oh, these girls are just so rude you know <laughs> like it's like I, if anything I want them to be ruder so I gotta go Yelp. <laughs> All right, well, I we like found out what rude. Tom likes. Yeah, <laughs> rude girls. <laughs> Lady not bussing her fucking tray at Chipotle. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I'd be great to answer. That is a Yelp review ah. of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. <laughs> oh, <nice>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we are currently uh, on the run from because we're getting our utilities for free. Yeah, so you they are? keep, they keep mm-hmm. like driving around the block. How? Uh, we don't really know. We, yeah. we, we try not to ask questions. We don't want to call them and ask because then they're going to make us pay for it. So we just lock them out and just hide when they show up. Yeah. No, they were on the porch, and I see the van coming down the street, and I just yell, cheese it, it's water and power. And we ran inside, <laughs> closed all the blinds, peeking out. Like, you Are know. you from the Midwest? No. We're, I thought cheese it was just like a Chicago thing to say, but no. I don't I know. It's like an old-timey, like, I, just needed, I was thinking it was like an old bank robber with like a bag with a dollar sign on it. I just ah, needed to get across the information that we needed to get the fuck out of there as quickly as possible, and cheese it seemed like the, the most effective way <laughs> when, to do that. When were cheese its when did they become a thing? You, like, do you mean the cracker? Yeah. yeah, we're talking about the expression, Tom. Oh, I know it wasn't. I thought you were just literally like, the cracker cheese it, it's much, water and power. How and much is this house a month? 2500 <laughs> <laughs> That seems high. <laughs> seems high. <laughs> Dan, what you're forgetting is that 95 people live here. How many people live here? Uh, uh, six, five and a half. Four, five? Yeah. Five people live here? Yeah. yeah. I live in I, a tent in the living room. I used to live in the you basement. You live in the living room? Yeah. In a tent? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but Tom was trying to rent the roof for a, a quick second. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't sleep in the basement. It fucks me up. We're going to put you on the roof. Yeah. I think funnier than that to me. Yeah, yeah. How do you bring a chick back on the roof? Uh, I we mean, I, I couldn't bring yeah. him back to the basement either. My ex, when I picked, she picked, she, I picked her well, up Yeah, because you're holding up time. the Led Zeppelin lantern as you go down the creepy <laughs> steps and <laughs> ignore the moldy time. dryer. I hadn't seen her for like two weeks, and so we're just laying in my bed, and she's like smiling. She's super happy to see me, but she just starts wheezing like a fucking pug because she can't breathe down there. Fucking black mold, probably. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, wheezing no, no. like a pug. We can see Tom all of the black mold. Optimum breathing. <laughs> Jesus There's Christ. a ton of black how, mold. How old are you? How old do you think I am? I could go either way. <laughs> it, 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 the, Just, I, I want to hear the I, guess. It's, it's, it's somewhere between 22 and 38. Uh, I mean, you're right. I'm 24. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a rough 24. Yeah. You're a really hard is. 24. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, you're the new season of 24. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Uh, I'm 29. 29? 24. I'm three days uh, younger than Tom. Yeah. Are, you good? Do you, are you guys having a joint birthday party this year? We've talked about <laughs> We've it We've discussed it. I don't really like birthday parties. I have no interest in them. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go camping. I think you you live camping. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like you. Yeah, it's really it'd what be is, nicer. Yeah, what is the appeal of going to the woods? Yeah. Just less oh, spiders. Yeah, I want to uh, nice it up. Yeah, I, I love sleeping near spiders. The- <laughs> I'd like to get That's the funny. same amount of bug bites with half of the Mexican music blaring in the middle of the night. <laughs> Love beaches. All right, let's keep this thing All going. Right. Number two, quote, you can tell she just had a kid in the past few days. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's gonna, of course it's going to be porn then. I'm going to say Yelp. I think this is a misdirect. God damn it. 
Yeah, I'm that's a, the misdirect. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna say yep. I think it's like for the Church of Latter Day Saints or something. <laughs> well, yeah, because we did the Scientology Church last time we did this. Yeah, uh, that is from a porn called Big Pussy. All right, we're even there. <laughs> oh, geez, Big Pussy. All right, number that was three. the worst show at the Virgil. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Inside, yeah. inside. Think, yeah, yeah. I think that's a women in comedy festival. <laughs> <laughs> big pussy. Hey, big still pussy. Yelled <laughs> 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 Number three quote. At that point, why not just eat off the floor? Mm. Uh, oh, is this uh, butt porn? Oh, it's... That's Yelp. That uh, is Yelp, Yelp again. Yelp. <laughs> Why is it butt porn specifically? Oh, I mean, I imagine if it's porn, someone's getting their ass eaten out. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. You know, just just with the context clues given, and then, uh-huh. uh huh. Or it could just be a really dirty restaurant. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go porn. The correct answer. I, I hate when this happens. Tom logic is <laughs> correct. Uh, that is a porn. There's a gay porn called Santa fucks hot guy. They eat like cereal out of his ass or something. No, it's just uh, Santa Claus or deep candy dude. canes. I don't know. I'm okay. winning. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, at this and nothing Huzzah. else. In your life. Yeah, no. This is my this is my victory for the year. Santa eats hot, hot guy. <laughs> Number four quote. Oh God, and you're bisexual. So you do you watch more gay porn or straight porn? Uh, I watch more straight porn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's not a lot of good bi porn. Is what I've noticed. Well, it's usually gay. Str- so what what you, is bi porn? It would be a threesome. Would you consider yourself like on the spectrum? Like, I, like what, what, what percentage is straight gay? Uh, like 70, 30, 70 straight, 30 gay. All right. yeah, on yeah. the spectrum. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Me and Tom on can two you make, spectrum. Can you make eye Tom's contact? on the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's 70% straight, 30% Forrest Gump. <laughs> Our internet is spectrum. 30, keep... I'm 70% straight, 30%. I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is fine. Uh, yeah, so Keith is a 70% straight, and 30% just really wants to be allowed to keep saying faggot. I think that's really how it breaks down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You're not 100% wrong. <laughs> I, <laughs> I always worry I have to like re-up with like the gay DMV and like get my faggot license reinstated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's fucking great. Oh, shit. Right. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, quote, Oh, God, why is the bottom so bloody? I'm going to throw up. Mm. Ooh. Uh, I've I'm said gonna Yelp. Yelp. I'm gonna, I've okay. said Yelp so many times. I gotta say Yelp. Try to get back in this thing. Okay. I don't yeah. know what that could possibly be for. Maybe some kind of like a like a deli or like a like a meat place. Okay. You know, I'm gonna say porn. I think someone got ass fucked too hard. <laughs> all roads lead to the ass. That is a Yelp review of an Applebee's. Oh. We're all even. Wait, again. Uh, Applebee's. <laughs> 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 Wait, well, yeah, what? That is a, uh, yeah, somebody's burger was a whole situation at an Applebee's. Oh. Oh, one time I went to an Applebee's, this is Drew, it was in Mount Kisco, New York, and, uh, D- and, sorry, and DMX uh, was there. <laughs> okay. And he and we was all, our theater troops are all like lame, right? And then he leaves, and then we're all like, oh my god, it's DMX, DMX. And then there was a guy in back of DMX who's friends with them, and he just turns to us and he goes, he's just like you and me, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like you and me. When he walked away. Oh my god. And I'm like and I'm pretty sure and then like two weeks later he like like posed as a cop and like held somebody up a good oh, yeah, and like he is that. not like us. No. Nah, he's way cooler than all of us. <laughs> One time I was at a grocery store with my friend and my friend freaked out. I was like, What's going on? I was like, I just met Kobe Bryant. I was like, What? And I look in the aisle and it is Definitely not Kobe <laughs> Bryant. It's just it a is, black dude. It's just a black dude. Just a polite black guy that black didn't woman. want to deal with it. <laughs> I think yeah. the, the funniest celebrity sighting I've ever had was I was in uh, Miami one time, and I like I look across the street, and there's like this stretch Hummer pulled up to this like really fancy club, and Rick Ross gets out, and he's not like dressed for the club at all. He's wearing a tank top mm-hmm. and shorts and flip flops, and he just gets out and just goes. Lord Jesus. Just winded from standing. <laughs> was that fat Rick Ross? Oh, it was the fattest Rick Ross. It was thick Ross, man. Dude, yeah. I wish I, I want to get my horn to have just the DMX like, ow, ow. <laughs> that would be cool. All right, number five. Speaking of people who want to say faggot real bad, DMX. Uh, number five, quote, four words, never trust Bob Saget. Mm. Ooh. This is why well, I know they just released a porn parody of Full House called, uh, Fuller House called Fuller Holes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying it's porn, yeah. Okay, it's the only porn to ever Ooh. outact its source material. <laughs> is this? Is this? We're all tied up. This is the last one, right? Uh, no, we got a couple more. Okay, I'm gonna go Yelp. Okay, the great answer. That is a Yelp review of the God Laugh Factory. Damn it, you're winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the laugh factory. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, 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 it's a, that dumbass heckler lady who got thrown out, but she just leads to like that it's a conspiracy with Bob Saget. <laughs> so you stab me in the back, Bob. <laughs> Yeah, Bob Saget has all that fucking syndication money. Needs to dick you out of your twenty five dollar ticket. Comedy is the fucking worst. <laughs> yeah, 
It really is. I don't know why anybody does it. Yeah, it's true garbage. Well, it's for moments like these, <laughs> I think. <laughs> it's for it's for whatever that smell is. <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> Nothing good. Oh, the fridge. <laughs> yeah. What so, in the fridge? Uh, uh, That's anybody's smell, guess. Anybody's, listen, it th- smells like shit at this place. <laughs> it doesn't smell great. Well, yeah, there's a lot of like optimistic. I don't even really purchase. notice What's it. What's going on, dude? <laughs> a lot of shit, Dan. All right? We didn't get the fucking comedy <laughs> knockout some, job, we dude. We got some nice posters, though. Uh, yeah, no, the posters are nice. <laughs> yeah, no, they're great. It's just like a bunch. Yeah, we, br- we, we did a live the show. Really cool. I think the problem and, and is, is this podcast spo- has been fun to do, and this alien poster is Leonardo DiCaprio. It's literally like, this. but it's all band aid over bullet hole shit. Because <laughs> the Mean Boys poster is really cool, right? But it's like, it's all over fucking. Just like the last scene of Zero Dark Thirty. <laughs> this entire fucking... Have you never lived in a place like this? I did. I did. In New York, I had no living room. Yeah, and I, I don't know why. I, and this is like... and I was... Yeah, I should not have lived there. I have no idea how I brought girls back there. Yeah. You know? Um, I think it just forces you to get real charming. Yeah, you know we're I mean? cool guys. Or yeah. just not be charming and not get laid. Well, yeah, that's an option, too. Yeah, I've nailed yeah, it. Yeah, my personality's gone to fucking shit, so <laughs> I, I have to have a nice place. Dan, uh, we've noticed. Uh, we have, yeah, yeah, we have real, ascertained that. It's real tough. I'm a real middle seat of coach personality. So. <laughs> uh, real just, yes, I'm going to lean on you. No, I don't want to switch. No, yeah, yeah. I guess. I'm that's taking, my personality. I'm taking three armrests somehow. Uh, <laughs> well, this is like it appropriate this next one number six quote nobody is having fun this is a hostage situation Ooh. this podcast <laughs> this is either this is either like a soul cycle class or a gang bang i'm gonna uh, say gang bang i'm gonna say porn okay we got porn porn time i'm gonna go yelp great answer that is a yelp review Ooh. of the cbs studios <laughs> <laughs> from a taping of the late late show with james corden <laughs> <laughs> who's james corbin <laughs> don't worry, you're never going to find He's out. He's basically if Keith cleaned himself up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. if I shaved a little and was like, I don't have to be funny, I'm just kind of cute. Oh, the guy from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I, would you guys Barbara. ever get a neck tattoo? No. 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 Like, if you weren't worried about future employment, like if still comedy not. was... I haven't still gotten known. a regular no. tattoo. I haven't gotten a regular tattoo. Well, I haven't been able to afford my regular tattoos. What, did you, but, what are you getting? Uh, there's all, I'll, I'll tell you my laundry list. I, I don't, I, I'm undecided on it. I'm just literally, ask. it's What's literally just, segment? it's literally just in old English. It's going to say, do your laundry. I want to, I want to get a shark. Like Bart Simpson over it. I want a yeah. shark. Uh, that I want to, there's a poem. What shark? What kind of shark? Uh, um, uh, one of the ones that die. One of the ones with the skateboards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Terry a street called? shark, I think. Street yeah, shark. That's street right. Sharks. Uh, I, there's a tattoo I want to get uh, commemorating my grandfather. Uh, Boo! That's I'm the just shark the skateboard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was killed. No, that's the llama on the pogo stick. Uh, yeah. And Sorry then, about your grandfather. That's alright. He's been dead for a while now. Um, okay, then fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, that was poor yeah, comments yeah, or Yelp review, everybody. <laughs> all right. Well, this thing is flown off the rails. Nightmare. Very <laughs> reluctantly, we shall return. Uh, <laughs> this is bye. Fun. This is my kind of time. Ladies and gentlemen, what's about to happen is a special Mean Boys podcast presentation. We gave Tom Goss 10 minutes to write a sketch for this episode. As you may have gathered from listening to the rest of it, our brains are melted. What he delivered to the table is quite, quite, quite possibly... Mean Boys meltdown sketch. Quite possibly the stupidest thing (laughs) I have ever read in my life. Like, it is on a show where the fudge lord has represented the high watermark of creativity... This is the worst <laughs> sketch we will have ever put on Look, the air. Look, I was just rushing to finish something, and uh, I just want to bring some Christmas joy to your heart. So we made, a, we made a deal both because we thought it would be funny and to spare uh, Connor from having to edit a lot of sound effects. Tom is allowed to do this sketch. <laughs> the caveats to this sketch are as follows. Number one, Tom has to do every voice in it. Yes. Number two, Tom has to do it in one take with no cuts and no editing. Yes. Number three, there are an impossible amount of misspelled <laughs> words here and stage directions I already know he hasn't figured out how to get around. Uh, and number four, <laughs> I'll be providing the sound effects for the sketch. With his mouth, yeah. With my mouth. So, again, you're getting this in one take. We're going to see what happens. This is a full throttle meltdown, and I cannot stress enough how much this was written in ten minutes and how bad it yes, is. Yes, yes. And, uh... Look, I'm very contradictory, and I disagree with Keith on many things. I agree with him on this. Indeed, we're 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 of the same mind. And I yes. love Tom. Tom has provided a lot of great work this week. They can't all be winners. <laughs> so, with that in mind, sit back, relax as the curtain comes up on the worst sketch ever written.
Mean Boys Podcast presents a brief summary of film history. Roadhouse. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, what's the hold up here? Go around, I live here. Beep, beep. Why is it? All right, we've been three lines in. Why is the house built in the middle of the streets? Because of the Mariners' liberal agenda and lax building codes. Beep, 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 beep. Look, our house is in the middle of the street, okay? Mother's in her Sunday dress. <laughs> uh, and father says he needs a rest. You have to go around. I also like your furniture. Thank you. It's Victorian. It's a quick pause here in case anybody didn't get it. The film was Roadhouse. And that was a vignette where a house was in the middle of the road. Correct, Amundo. Tom, continue. That's not our only. <laughs> that's not our. That's not our only film here. Uh, this is our <laughs> summary of Fight Club. You aren't your job. You're not your fucking khakis. Oh my God! What are you guys doing? Why are you beating up that stick? It's not a stick. It's a club. And we fight club. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> and of course, our favorite episode of The Muppets. I would just like to pause here and point out to the listening audience, Tom wrote a sketch called The History of Cinema, and the third one is a television show. <laughs> and it's not like he meant, oh, I meant The Muppet Movie, because he wrote our favorite episode of The Muppets. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know. I just feel... <laughs> Finish it. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like Miss Piggy might have moved on without me. What do you think, Swedish chef? A pork, a pork, a pork, a pork, a pork, a pork. <laughs> Fozzie Bear, what are you doing here? Uh, who wants to sodomize me? Waka, waka, waka. Tom, have you ever actually seen an episode of The Muppets? Yeah, when I was a kid. Okay, because you couldn't have done Fozzie Bear worse if you tried. I'm bad at voices. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So there you go. There it is. Uh, Look, was there supposed to be an Omega Tom today? Yes. Is it coming soon? Certainly. But those things take a really fucking long time to edit, and Connor's going to stab me in the neck. So this is what happened. Uh, Tom, how do you feel about what you've done? Oh, I mean, uh, uh, it's a mixture of shame and pride. Uh, it's, I hope it's like a very like watered down like shame to pride ratio. Oh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just uh, like ninety ten. I'm just proud of us. You know what I mean? Don't implicate me in what you, you've done here. You, you did a great job with the sound effects, All and right. uh, I'm just uh, honestly, I, I need more than ten minutes to write a sketch. Everybody, <laughs> well, enjoy the rest of this week's episode with Dan Saint Germain. <laughs> Quang. Uh, no, I'll just do it like, all right, everybody, Mean uh, Boys Podcast is back uh, with another round of our favorite game, which is the fall. Uh, this one comes to us from uh, one of our favorite listeners, Mika Pratt. He writes, hey, Mean Boys, here's a which of the following featuring some of the best press releases and propaganda from my all-time top favorite Koreas. So these are North Korean propaganda press releases. Dan, what's going to happen? Okay. I'm going to give you four real things. Uh, no, f- four things. One of them's uh, fake. The other three are real. You've got to pick which one this guy made up. Okay. All right. So which of the following is not something that North Korea claims happened? A, Kim Jong-il learned to drive at three years old. Okay. <laughs> B, the soccer coach of the World Cup communicating with Ch- Kim Jong-il via an invisible phone. <laughs> C, starting an ideological study group with the president of the Ethiopian Confederation of Taekwondo. <laughs> What, what is the? What do they have their own what? Taekwondo Federation? Yeah, that's insane. I don't know that they have their own like source of clean water, but they're like, oh, we have a Taekwondo <laughs> High Council. Or D, Kim Il Sung's great grandfather invented the twelve string guitar. Uh, uh, I'll go with the fuck. That's, that's tough. Insane. Yeah. What's smart about this is you guys, whatever the fake one is, you guys, you guys like wrote something. That was like that was very uh, that that was copacetic to the other shit. Yeah, yeah this guy, uh, this uh, Mika Pratt wrote this one. Mika so it's Pratt, all him. yeah, uh, whoever I'm that is. Go with number three. Number three, Tommy Gus. Number three. Wait, can you read the full Taekwondo one again? <laughs> uh, starting an ideological study group with the president of the Ethiopian Confederation of Taekwondo. 
Ethiopian Taekwondo. Is there just one guy who does Taekwondo? Yeah, I think it's the Ethiopian one. It's going to be that one. That's so weird. Uh, I guess those are both just two countries that are like super fucked. So there's like, yeah, we can hang out and be mad at everybody. Yeah, I just don't think I don't think Kim they give it. He would give a shit about Ethiopia, but yeah. Well, part of me because it could have been it could have been like I feel like there might be talk because Taekwondo is an Olympic sport, so there is like Taekwondo federations. It's just weird that Ethiopia would have one, but also I, I mean, fuck it. We've gotten uh, way too serious about this uh, one. Okay, I got to... I'm going to say the 12-string guitar one. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with the invisible phone soccer match one. The fake one, D. He did not invent the 12-string the, 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 guitar, the, the according guitar. to Korea. Oh. Nice. Right. So, Number two, which the following is something North Korea claims happened. So this is... this is We're looking for the real one here. He's going switcheroo on us. Okay. Kim Il-sung buying President Jimmy Carter's peanut farm to serve as a military foothold within America. <laughs> B, the Korean national soccer team losing the a world... for erasing humanity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Korean national soccer team losing a World Cup game to do every player being struck by lightning. Okay. That's something they claimed happened. C, Kim Jong-un personally winning every track and field event at the 2010 Olympics. <laughs> or D, Kim Il-sung's face being engraved on the dark side of the moon after his death. 100% it's got to be the moon one. <laughs> I think it's three. That he won everything in the 2010 That's Olympics? the fake. Wait, that's the one that they claimed happened. The other three they the did. One, We're looking for the real. Oh, one the here. one that they claimed happened. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He I would say what's the what's the second one again? Uh, they lost the World Cup because everybody got struck by lightning. I'm going that one. I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was the one. Yay! Yay! Nicely done. <laughs> but the, uh, don't you just You're like the, these games? I know it's it's a lucky day for me. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, moving into round number three, which is the following: Is something North Korea uh, claims happened? A, Kim Jong-un's great-grandfather speaking his first words several seconds after having been born. B, Kim Jong-un being able to conjure lightning storms dragged through the sky by omnipotent sparrows at will. That's how he got the soccer team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> C, Kim Jong-il briefly raising the dead after his death so they too could mourn. So he brought him back to life just to be bummed? Yeah. At what point do they like? Do they just think Kim Jong Il was Dracula, like <laughs> <laughs> sketchy vampire powers? And uh, finally, D, the North Korean national soccer team only being tested positive for steroids due to deer musk gland medicine they took to treat lightning strikes. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking soccer team sucks, dude. Yeah, it's like <laughs> what is this? What's real? Yeah, which one is real? They really seem invested in the performance of their soccer team. They are, dude. A l- countries use sports as propaganda. Yeah, like. Well, North Korea is hard yeah. by the shit. We're like, yeah, if you go over and you lose, when you come back, they just kill you. <laughs> yeah. And with that logic, I'm going to say A. Yeah, I'm going to go with A. Uh, what was B again? B was Kim Jong-un being able to conjure lightning storms. Yeah, I think it's A. I think it's the talking. Uh, the fake one, D. Not really. <laughs> they claimed that their soccer team was using steroids because of a deer musk fucking testing issue. I, I swear I thought that I've heard that they thought that it doesn't matter. All right. I thought he could talk when he was a baby. That's like Genghis Khan being said. bored with like a pussy blood clot in his hand, <laughs> like super metal style. <laughs> that they believe it's Tetuan or whatever. I think that's the guy from Akira, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Number four. Uh, all right. All Kim Jong Il's birth edition. Which of the following is not something North Korea claims happened when Kim Jong Il was born? A. A new star appearing in the heavens to illuminate the sky. Okay. B. A double rainbow spontaneously Wait, this appearing. Is something that didn't happen. Which one? They yeah. Believe didn't happen. Is not something they claim to happen. C, the clouds rearranging to form his name and the name of all of his future descendants. Or D, a sparrow turning winter into spring instantaneously. Uh, what's the B? B was a double rainbow spontaneously appearing. And D? A? D, I'm going to say D. Uh, and A was a new star appearing in the heavens. This is to what didn't happen. Yeah. yeah, this is what didn't happen, D. yeah. Uh, it's... I didn't know that they also thought he was magic. Yeah. I just thought they thought he was like... Handsome and cool. Yeah, no, that's like a real thing. They like tell people that like he has like crazy fucking magic powers and he can do everything and that like yeah, this stuff is like people really believe it in North what, Korea. What was the skywriting one? Which letter? Oh, that the cl- oh that was C. I'm gonna say C. Okay. Uh, it's oh it's it's C. Okay, uh, it is C. Yeah. Oh shit. I, my my ex worked for a North Korean nonprofit, so like I was getting all the skinny on like weird North Korean shit for a while. She's like, I want to see what doing something bleak in the states is like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was once roommates with the Korean. From the top one or the south? Congrats. Uh, fled from the south. You don't flee from the south. You just <laughs> leave. He's <laughs> probably yeah. a fucking child molester. Yeah, if you're fleeing from South Korea, you're not a refugee. You just killed somebody. <laughs> the Roman Polanski of Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was kind of an asshole. But, uh, yeah, I learned a lot about North Korea. But it was in broken English, and that's why I think I've gotten a couple of these wrong. So oh, he yeah, communicated to you in your native tongue, <laughs> which is broken English. <laughs> 
Correct, Mundo. I don't know what you want. <laughs> all right, round number five. Mercy Fleet. All real or all fake. North Korea erecting fake luxury condos on the DMZ to attract South Korean defectors. B. North Korea constructing a nine hundred million dollar mausoleum to hold Kim Jong Il's corpse. This? All real or all fake? These all happen or not happen? Uh, North Korea claiming that frozen lakes cracked open and snowstorms formed to mark the death of Kim Jong Il. Dude, there's a lot of fucking weird poetic nature shit where, like, yeah. in the mountains themselves wept tears of boulders. Yeah, they're obsessed with, like, the weather and, like, all this, like, weird... They actually have a shit. really good creative writing program. <laughs> <laughs> D, North- or $5 words for a country yeah. with a net worth of $5. <laughs> North Korea producing a two-hour film of Kim Jong-il riding a horse, which went on to be the most popular film in the DPRK that year. <laughs> I think I saw that. Or, like, <laughs> clips of it. No, you saw... Dad like, did punch-up on that, horse. actually. You saw War Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be my next real. job. I'm staff writing. <laughs> I thought... No, I think I've and, seen uh, clips of that. Okay, so... Uh, it's anyone, all real. Uh, all real? All Keith? real. All real? Yeah, I, I, like I I think... I saw clips. They're all real, guys. Hey, Where would you have been it. watching clips of the North Korean horse movie? YouTube. I feel like that's well, the least <laughs> disturbing clip he's watching. Of a horse, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we, I'm yeah, sorry we're not... This not watching This Is Us every night. No. Yeah, I'm sorry we're not marathoning Burger King meth <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing the second we're done recording? Uh, the reason I off? give you guys shit is just like looking at younger versions of myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, this oh, is that's future. Keith, this is for you. I'm going to close be... my own loop in the bathroom. <laughs> that sucks because that's sad for both of us. I know. Four years for everybody. Lord. Wait, okay. how old are you? Thirty-three. Oh, huh. same age as Jesus. Yeah, huh. yeah. Same level of accomplishment. Cool. Same level of accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. The show is brought to you by Don Carlos Taco Shop in La Jolla, California. <laughs> It's the last time. Oh. No. No, 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 no. I'm not doing it if you're doing that. I'm not doing it. I will turn I will turn this podcast around. Guess what? The food is delicious. It's right by the La Jolla Comedy Store, and they've been a longtime sponsor of me and boys. So go to eataburrito.com if you want to learn more about a burrito restaurant. And, and nope, 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 nope. Don't say anything. Don't They're say delicious. no, 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 no. No, no, Spread no, cheer. no. Okay, what's mic is yours? Okay, I think that's your mic. Oh, 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 oh. Burrito centers for <laughs> There's my mic. You guys, you don't have mics anymore. You get. I'm covering my mic, so you, I can't hear either of you. Go to eataburrito.com. Burrito and. Keith just drooled all over his Gengar shirt trying to bother me. I know what I did. And uh, everyone, you guys all shut the fuck, shut your fat fucking mouths. Open them up and put a burrito in there and fucking keep them, keep them shut. You're, but no one can hear what you're saying. I've muted your mics. I've staged a coup, okay? get just Eat it, Don Carlos. I'm turning this off. And the Mean Boys podcast. Bleh, 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 fuck shit. Let's try that again. No, keep it. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> well, and the Mean Boys. <laughs> this, I come back from. from, from, from. <laughs> mean Boys podcast is back with uh, questions from the mailbag. Uh, we ask you guys for questions. Uh, they are retarded. Uh, Sarah Reed asks, "If you had to go the rest of your life without getting a hard on or pooping from your mouth, which would you choose?" Wait, I don't understand. So, okay, like, so I can I never get, get a boner. boner. You either can never get a boner. Or you have to take a dump out of your mouth. I think we just did that for 45 minutes, so I'm going <laughs> to say dumped out the mouth. I'm already at the first one. So. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of taste buds do I have? Is it the current taste buds? Yeah, yeah you don't get like a special poop tongue. Uh, you can, uh, I feel like... I can All right, well, we have an episode title at least. <laughs> special poop tongue. I think I could finish destroying my taste buds. But I can't rebuild a dick. I gotta go. I gotta go. Shit face. What, yeah. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna eat sour candy from the movie theater, so my tongue is completely fucked and can't taste anything. Have you, yeah. You you smoke. You must have this. Do you have since you've destroyed most of your taste buds? Do you have a new affinity for one of those feet smelling, tasting cheeses? Because I thought they're delicious. <laughs> What? So, you know what it is hey. about the way you talk? <laughs> you don't, like, know, like, every word sounds like the end of a sentence. <laughs> so, like, we, we're all like, is this the same sentence? Are you done? Are you just beginning? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so let's, like, let's just summarize that. Since you I don't even know what you said. do you want to eat foot cheese? Uh, it's like when you're reading a book, but you're kind of falling asleep while you're doing it, so you keep yeah, just yeah. I do that all the time. Different words. Yeah. You, know, you do not read books all the time. I read a fuck ton. <laughs> it's like you learned the English while you were falling What is the last asleep? thing you read that was not the back of a Captain Crunch box uh, that you were perplexed by. I think it was Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. Okay, all right. Yeah, I've read. I've read. D- 
definitely read more than you two combined. I've read such an insane amount of books throughout my life. <laughs> Tom, why are, you, why are you still like this? I have... <laughs> <laughs> I have very few things to be proud of, but I'm What's your favorite book? Done. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't. I don't the know. The pamphlet your guidance counselor <laughs> after you tried to kill yourself. Yeah, in ninth grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that was a lot of good guesses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite book. I it's think... the one I'm writing in blood in the basement. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what you all die at the end. I love. Yeah, and my favorite piece of literature is probably The Pillow Man by Martin McDonough. But it's oh not yeah, a he's book. Great, it's great. Yeah, he's fucking awesome. You think I wrote a play about your body? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a book about like like child murder and writing. Okay, it's very good. Nice, That's great. I'm Martin McDonough's great. great. Oh, Couple he's fantastic. Men, just yeah, saw. Yeah. I'm a bit of a, a theater lunt. Oh yeah, no, I did, I did theater. <laughs> so you don't, you don't, you don't know what I'm talking about with the cheese thing. Uh, I mean, I no, <laughs> not even a little All bit. All right, well, All right. Uh, Paige Wesley wants us to ask Dan what kind of conditioner does he use? It's a serious um, question. I use Pantene Pro V. Nice. There you okay. go, Paige. Now you can have uh, hair like this, sex panther. It sounds like a disease. Pantene, Pantene Pro V. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you too can look like you sell magic tonics out of a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's not the worst I've gotten. So. Yeah. Caleb Terry asks, "What is the worst time you saw someone else bomb?" Feel free not to name names. But he's asking, "What is the gnarliest oh, bomb you've ever seen?" Oh, I got to, I got to go with myself. Fifteen minutes ago, <laughs> <laughs> I one one of my favorite bobs was uh, there was a there was a bar in San Clemente called Knuckleheads uh-huh. that I used to do as a mic. I don't know if you, you two ever went there. Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. I know of it. And uh, uh, one time there was a comic on stage, and uh, Ramsey, uh, he, they had a dare off, and basically this comic went up and just was like, I'm Canadian, fuck America, blah, blah, blah. And then the whole audience just lost their minds because they didn't realize it was a joke. Like they almost rushed the stage. Yeah. They started chanting USA. Huh. Uh, <laughs> this guy started a hate crime like, against Canadians. Yeah, like they were. They were. No, 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 he said he was from Canada and hates America. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then one of the favorite lines you can... There's a video of it somewhere you hear someone go, and two days before the 4th of July, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, it was just Great. fucking... Uh, it, was, it was pretty funny. Mine was... Uh, I was doing a bringer show at the Bray Improv a few years back, and there was this guy who was like sort of like a local in the Orange County scene, and mm-hmm. he was like super autistic, and he was a prop comic. And he oh, brings, I have stories. With he him brings too. this duffel bag of props on stage. Does his like <laughs> somebody's just stealing Dan's car right now? I hope now. that's on my car. Uh, it's probably not mine, right? I hope not. I'll go investigate. You guys, you tell the this guy. Silver Honda Civic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he's got this whole like duffel bag of props. He goes up. He does a ten minute set. Each right, shit. Never mind. There he goes. He, he, yeah, they stole it. It's just gone. He eats shit. But the worst part is he's scattered these props to the wind. So, like, as the host is coming, he has to just, like, to silence, go gather his, like, action figures. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And yeah. And it was, yeah, it was just, like, real, real depressing. Uh, mine is probably Jamar Neighbors at, um, <laughs> where do they used to do What's Up Tiger Little Hollywood Bar and Grill? Uh uh-huh. Uh, they're, they're they're shooting a rap music video there, and they okay. decided to book stand up beforehand. And for some reason, it was me and a bunch of like shitty IE comics that uh-huh. I drove out with, and then Jamar neighbors, <laughs> and Jamar goes up and uh, two deafening silence. It's just like <laughs> Trayvon Martin, man. How long you gotta wait his wait to ask his mom for your hoodie back because he borrowed <laughs> it or something like that? And it was just the, the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got one. Uh, I mean, I've had so many bad ones. I mean, as far as my friends, like watching my friends bomb, like I'll do two. Like my friend Kevin Barnett was hilarious. Huh. Um, one time we were at the pit, and we were all on the show. And we all bombed. I bombed horribly. Everybody, but he was bombing, and he had, as you had just seen me bomb, and then the comic before that bomb, and he was on stage and he was bombing. And he was in this. He goes, "No, fuck that! I'm going to the audience." So he jumps off the stage and starts doing his, like material more aggressive, and then he bombed even worse. <laughs> and it's just hilarious to see somebody like bombing jump, Lion like, King. Yeah, style. I'm doing it in high gear, and then it's even worse. I've never <laughs> seen someone. I've seen so many people try to deal with bombing by going to the audience, and I've never seen it work out ever. It never walk works into out. the audience. Yeah, walk into the audience. I've never seen it improve this. Well, situation. the logic is just like, yeah, they already don't like me, but what if I was closer to? Yeah, them? and then 
I have a, Mike Lawrence has one where he did this thing. It was an open mic. We're all there. It was me, Mark Norman, a few other people, and he did MC Lawrence. And, I'm sorry, uh, what? He started <laughs> rapping about uh, STD perfection. <laughs> his, like, and it was like one of those things where it was silent the whole time, and then when the rap was done, there was a pause, and then we're like, bah! <laughs> <laughs> like laughing harshly at him. And then afterwards, I remember we were in the lobby, he goes, well, at least I tried. I tried something. <laughs> So there's that. <laughs> and then the one that he saw me bomb horribly, so I'll give Mike that, is we were at this uh, open mic at Five Points downtown. And Mike went up, and I think he did pretty good. He, I forget what it was. and then, But it was but it was like really demeaning already because me and Mike didn't have a manager and we didn't have anything going on. And there was this – the one person was killed was this – um, it was a chihuahua uh, the, in a in a fucking like in a like a beauty pageant outfit that danced the Beverly Hills theme, the Beverly Hills cop theme. Oh, oh my god! And, like, and I remember Mike walked into the bathroom and hit, and the guy like the guy who owned the fucking uh, dog was like forcing like like pants over it over the sink. <laughs> it was like the most hor- horrifying thing. Oh, no. But then I went on stage and I was started fucking bombing already with my shitty stuff. And then there was a huge Hello Kitty helmet, so I decided to put that on and then talk in an Asian accent to <laughs> Asians. <laughs> Fucking oh, silence. Shit. And there's something so horrifying about hearing silence and then slowly lifting a giant Hello Kitty mask <laughs> to reveal a What's bunch happening of angry there? Chinese people. Honestly, when I, when I see someone in a giant Hello Kitty mask, I imagine that person looks like you, Dan. <laughs> exactly. I feel like it's usually... And then we got off stage, and then, and then I, we noticed that old guy was giving fucking... His name is, I think, Han Fane, or I don't know what the fucking name of the dog was. But he's giving him, and we realized that that dog had a manager and we didn't. <laughs> oh, that dog had lapped us in the career. See, <laughs> so, yeah, that was a rough night. Oh, I lapped you in the career man. and lapped up some water because that's, that's uh, how dogs drink. That right, guys, is how's that for a riff? Fucking brutal. Most, yeah, most brutal. of my worst bombs, they aren't like interesting stories. It just ends with people threatening me, but there's no like. <laughs> Like, that's really funny. That's mundane for you, Tom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Threatening you. And I have uh, one more quick uh, thing I want to read before we wrap it up. Uh, this comes to us from, uh, where is her name? Uh, Hetera, Hetaira on the, uh, the Patreon. Uh, we talked about uh, cannibalism with uh, Kyle Clark on Wednesday mm-hmm. and whether or not we would eat a person uh, nice if, guy. if offered up. Uh, and she wanted to point out that human flesh tastes salty. I once knew a person who would hold piercing parties with a group of friends, and they would cook up the tiny bits of skin and cartilage. So apparently, you know, apparently we are not alone. There are oh. cannibals who listen to the that, show. Can you tell her that wasn't a question and you're a weirdo? <laughs> it was more of a, it was, well, we had a big debate about uh. whether or not you would eat human flesh if it was offered to you in like a non-creep-ass way. And I was somebody, the only one like, who said no. Yeah, well, me and Kyle way too quickly were, agreed we would. I just, I just figure at this point, I don't want to be left out. Because yeah, short version. I was at a party where like they, it, it was like a BDSM party, and like they cooked part of a lady and the, fed her to people. And was the, she dead? No, she was alive. She was like a chunk of her leg. And the you question know, is, if you're in that situation, this do, you, is, do you eat this the leg? Is, I mean, like. Some things shouldn't be accepted. <laughs> yeah, and we're like right. welcomed in our and society. Probably, and Keith, you, you, you left fucking, this out. Probably, the, you. probably the worst part about that was that that cannibal had a manager and uh, <laughs> <laughs> the manager, the PA I mean, agent. She's like, getting like leg bookings. Jesus all. Christ, Keith, what are you doing? <laughs> Eating people at a BDSM party? That was also one of the higher paying gigs I've done this year. So, like, oh, you, you did stand up. You were yeah. there to fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, that's different. I mean, you know, but did you fuck? No, not that. Not that. No. You're like, I just ate the meat. <laughs> I didn't even eat the meat. I came for I the was, hors d'oeuvres. I was busy with the barbecue part of this function. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you got out of the part where Keith only didn't need it because they didn't have ranch <laughs> to dip it in. Yeah, can we get a nacho fondue fanton for me to tip this lady in? <laughs> fanton. Fanton. A, shut fanton. Shut a shut fondue fanton. A fondue fanton. <laughs> well, guys, uh, Dan. Hey, thanks for having me. Sorry. Yeah, Anything what? to plug? No, why are you sorry. <laughs> Dude. Does this come out? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, I would say uh, December 27th, I'm going to be um, recording my album at The Stand in New York City at 8 and 10. Yeah, we got New York people. Go, uh, go see Dan. Go see yeah, Dan come yeah. see me. And then I'm also in people in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm recording this, uh, the album as well, January 4th through 6th at Comedy Club. 
on state. So yeah, we've had a bunch of Madison people put out sign up for our email list. So go out to Dan. Yes, He's great. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Go we, see we, we honestly we owe him one. So if you could do us a solid yeah. here. <laughs> and watch uh, watch Superior Donuts. It's a show Dan writes for. Well don't bring that up after the eating human flesh thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was leaving that out to try to <laughs> You wanted a corporate protection yeah. after all the kind words about the CBS uh, broadcasting <laughs> it company. It was just the, the yeah, one lady. Sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit I on, didn't shit yeah, on Yeah you shit on earlier shit on a I, CBS show. We'll fight about this off air. <laughs> All right. I don't think we'll fight. I think you'll defend yourself while not making eye contact, and I'll probably leave. <laughs> I don't understand why you're such good friends with Mike Lawrence. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> me All and right. Mike are really mean to yeah. each other. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's our show. All right. That's it. Fuck, Fuck everything. God is dead.